Hey Internet, I'm Chaz. And I'm Dan. And this is the Wine & Series Business Show, episode 36. And uh, kind of a crazy show. We've got some, some wild wines that Dan brought. What, what, what do you got going on here? So th these are some really bizarre wines that, uh, that, that, that I ran into a few weeks ago. So in regard to that, I, I want to say thanks to uh, Doug Culver from CNG Wines and uh, Mike from Renaissance uh, for setting me up with these. These are two, uh, two wines from Savoie, France, which I had never heard of before. Had you heard of it before tonight? No. Yeah, and, and apparently it's a region just north of the Northern Rhone, where, as you know, like a lot of reds or a lot of like richer, really intricate whites. Um, but these are, you know, these are some white wines, some z more zippy, acidic white wines. Savoie is butted right up against Germany. It's right on the eastern border. Um, so, so I'd never heard of it, and they're like, oh, well, what kind of grapes are in these? Apparently the grape is Jacquer. Also, never heard of it before these wines. So something totally unique, totally out of the blue. I don't know that I've ever had it before, so yeah, it would be a new experience for me as well. And, and then, to top it off, one of the bottles is, is an old vine. So in, in addition to being something interesting and new, then they've got, they've got some of this stuff from 75-year-old vines. So kind of a chance to try something really unique, share it with you guys, and hopefully it inspires you to go out and try some new stuff. So for wine number one, this is just a domain, do, domain ideal. And again, my, my French pronunciation accent is total garbage. Vin de Savoie, um, very straightforward, white wine. This is like their, their basic level bottling. I want to say that this is in the teens price, somewhere in there, under 20 bucks. Yeah, sweet. All right, kind of reminds me of a Pinot Gris on the nose yeah. a little bit. But a little richer or something mm -hmm. going on. There's a little bit of sweetness. It smells kind of nice. Yeah, it's definitely like more summery, sort of like uh, cream soda -y sort of. I don't know. Oh, nice! It is a little creamy. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting pears for sure. Yeah. And something a little citrus, something zippy. I'm having a hard time placing. Def though. Definitely a little sharp on the nose, but I like it. It's it's, it's got a lot of acidity. You can tell right off the bat, and I like the flavors. Yeah, in depth. Crisp and clean. Um, Nice. Yeah, the acidity is definitely on the sharper side. As you guys probably know by now, I'm a big fan of that. Um, man, yeah, easy drinking, real clean too. This is remind me. Mm -hmm. Why we previously had a Vino Verde sort of uh, I can see profile. That. Like it's uh, very clean. A little bit of minerals going on in the palate. Yeah. But the fruit is not uh, big. Right. right. Definitely sort of mellow. This is a little bit watery, but it's it's uh, the acidity carries everything. I mean, it's it's nice. It's definitely like a summer wine. Yep. You you could easily like be out in the yard working, sweating balls, and drinking this stuff probably out of a Boda bag or something. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, and the, the minerality is really catching me more on the mid palate. Um, but uh, you know, the fruit's not dominant. There's a little bit of green apple, a little bit of pear. Yeah. Um, but it's but it's really nice like, toning down in the. Acidity and the mineral definitely come to the forefront. Yeah, that's what's driving the wine, which which makes it pretty interesting. I think I'm gonna go 87 plus points for me. Nice wine at, at sub 20 bucks. Yeah, I I drink it again. I'll go 86 with a with a buy. I I like it. And it, yeah. For under 20 bucks, like this is an interesting wine, and it's actually very refreshing with the amount of acidity and the the fruit being so low and and it kind of it's just a refreshing wine. I can see this being a really good aperitif too, something to start the night out with. Yeah. It's not going to drown your palate out, right? Or right. Crush it or anything. Actually, it'd probably be really good at clearing your palate if you've been drinking cabs all night, too. Mm. Um, good point. I want to drink more. Yeah. Of that. All right. Well, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. On to wine number two. So this is the same, the same producer, um, but this is the old vines again. Seventy-five year old, seventy-five year old vines of this uh, this Jacquer grape, which is uh, oh well. I guess that's a good rinse. Poor, poor big. Oh yeah. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, we got a good rinse. That's fine. Um, which. Uh, Probably a little concentrated character. We'll see how it plays out. Well, that's different. Oh, Chaz is going to see a show tonight. Who are you going to go see? Uh, Public Image Limited. Okay. I've never heard of them. Okay. But apparently they're like an old punk band from the 80s. Crazy. Aaron and Steve are all pumped about them. And I was like, well, I'm going to go in concerts lately, so let's go check it out. Rock and roll? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. King Kong. I went and watched that King Kong uh, band. Dude, that was awesome. I've never heard of them. King either. Con and the Shrines, pretty pretty nuts. We'll right. we'll put a link down below for that. <laughs> we can, you can go check that check them out. All right.
minerality is almost dominant on the nose here. Right. Like it's. I'm detecting almost like a hint of petrol or something going on too, maybe. Wow. Very faint. Yeah, very faint. I don't think I'd go there, but I, I can kind of okay. see it. Like almost with like something like a Loire uh, Riesling or something like that. Where you get it sort of more mineral, but less uh, less sort of that smell. I don't know. Yeah, lighter nose for sure. There's not a whole lot coming right. through. Um, Absolutely. Not much for fruit either. Yeah, it's some very, very faint, like red apples, I'd, I'd say. But uh, but it, it's really light. Mm, it's kind of throwing me. That's weird. And a little richer character. Ooh. Not to be mistaken for it being like overly fruity, um, but you can just tell that it's it's a little more dense in texture, and uh, and the flavors linger on the palate for a little longer, for long, significantly longer. Yeah, yeah. The finish on this is uh, is nice. It's sort of yeah. It's got a rolling sort of palate. It kind of I don't even know how to describe it, but the length is, is fantastic for a, for a white wine of this caliber. It's interesting. And there's still some good acidity, which is an interesting combination with the richness. It's not something you see very often, and I kind of attribute I kind of attribute it to uh, more of that mineral character too. Um, I'm confused by this. But, but yeah, I mean, there's, <laughs> it, it's it's I'm definitely confused. a unique experience. I'm getting like some uh, some cantaloupe faintly. Again, the fruit is not a dominant character in this wine at all. But I'm getting just a little bit of melon across the mid palate. Like I just ate a melon rind. Like I just ate a watermelon rind. The whole thing. And again, super clean, um, all the way across. You can feel the quality of this wine compared to the first one. Yeah, this one's got more going on for sure. And, and really refreshing. Yeah, another one where it's quite refreshing. The, f the fruit's not entirely dominant. A lot of a city. A lot more about the sort of like a chalky mineral. Yeah, it's good, but yeah, I don't know. A little less exciting for you. I don't know. I, I I totally get this one. Like I understand mm -hmm. where this one's going. I think I just I don't know. Was hoping for more. That's know. kind of my take on it too. It, yeah. It's it's more interesting and I, and obviously more intricate. But would you ever buy it again? But but less you know but less drinkable. Right. You know in, in in the casual sense where you're buying these light refreshing whites. Usually you're going for something that that's quick and easy and refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, and to uh, and, yeah and and I guess this hits. What I'd be drinking it for a little better, I think. Uh, but this is still a fascinating wine, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it out. So I'm gonna go 86 points on that, um, and uh, definitely, definitely, some people I think would would like it more, just due to that rich, richer texture. If you like the drier, more austere wines, um, austere. Yeah, that's a great word for this wine. This could be right up your alley. Sounds right up, actually. Um, and then still, yeah, still totally interesting. So, yeah, so 86 for me. Man. It's like some wines are interesting and some wines just confuse the shit out of me. This one's confusing the crap out of me. I don't even... I, I, 86, 80, 87 points. Like, right. I don't even know what to say about it. I, I can feel the quality. I like the sort of flavor profile, and I love the finish. It's got tr it's got great balance, and acidity sticks with you through the entire palate. But I don't even know what it tastes like. I don't even know how to describe the flavor profile. It's like, it's it's kind of, and I'm really curious to see how this goes as we drink through more of the bottle too. I have a feeling that the yeah. last glass of this could be, yeah, could be even more interesting. Bit, yeah, these yeah. are our popping pours. Yeah. Uh, so who knows what this grape? This is the first time I've ever had this grape. Yep. Same so, for you, right? So, cool stuff. Get out there and try some new stuff. Yeah. Keeps wine fun. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the, that's why I love wine. It's the variety, right? There's just so much variety for, to it, and that's I think that's what's fun about it. Anyway, yes. question of the day: We were talking about this. Um, I'm wearing a soccer shirt today. Uh, World Cup's right around the corner. What's your World Cup team? Who are you rooting for? My top three picks: obviously USA. I'm rooting for. I'm really happy about. I love Mexico and then Spain. So those those are my three. Oh, nice. And what are you guys? Who are you rooting for? 